going on, people? I've got this MPC 2000 XL right here. It's got three things wrong with it. It's got a scroll wheel, which is completely dead. Can't do anything without that. It's got up and down arrow keys, which are at best temperamental. They sometimes work, sometimes they don't. Uh, often those things are the first things to go because you sort of use them for everything you do, just navigating around the screen. Uh, I don't know if you can see from there, but the Q-Link fader here has also been snapped off by somebody. Was it accidental? Was it deliberate? I don't know. Uh, but at this point, I do not care because I got a brand new one for eight quid off eBay. I've uh, got a rotary encoder for the scroll wheel for I think 750 and I got some new tactile switches these little bad boys uh, 10 of them for 350 I think there's about 40 of them on the MPC so for 14 quid you you could replace all of them I was gonna have a go with this for the time being so basically under 20 quid got all the parts I need to do this so yeah we're, today's the day we're gonna take the soldering iron to the circuit board wish me luck see you on the other side Right, I've just turned the MPC upside down. Uh, first thing you need to do to take it apart is take off this front panel where the floppy drive or card reader is, whatever you've got attached there. Uh, and then you'll have to undo the screws under, on the underside and, and on the sides here as well, so you can uh, take the top off. This is the control board of the MPC. This is where all the relevant bits are. You've got the scroll wheel there, up and down arrows there, and this is the fader. Uh, the scroll wheel needs to come off, and that exposes the rotary encoder, the offending party. Uh, these buttons can come off, and there are the touch switches, tactile switches that are getting replaced, the up and the down one. Uh, this, I'll figure out how to flip that off in a minute, but what you're going to need to do is unscrew all these screws that, that screw down the control board so you, can, so, you, uh, so you can solder on the underside of it and then decide whether or not you can be bothered to unplug any of these wires that are attached to it because they are a bit fiddly to undo, uh, but then again it's a bit fiddly to you know, have to just flip it over and have to solder on it, so I'll cross that ridge in a minute. Remove the ribbon cable to the pad sensors. Just slid this thing along on either side like that. Yeah, I'll do with one hand. You get the idea though. And then that should free up this ribbon. Which I'm just gonna tease out with a pencil. is crazy so right here we have the underside of the PCB for the tap switches for the that's the right button that's the left arrow button and this is the down and up so each of them has four contacts here and you can just see how close together the top two contacts of the bottom button are to the bottom two contacts of the top of it they are really close. Right, so desoldering first. Move this part out of the way. Desoldered and removed. Now let's put the new ones in. Just the second tack switch is coming. Just something. 
So let's just test if that's any better now. I've got it plugged in. Yes. You can see in the display, they're going up and down. Happy days. Now I'm just repeating the process with the rotary encoder. These are the two big bits, and these are the three tiny bits. You can see where attack is underneath. and to desolder those contacts. That's the three contacts on the rotary encoder. Desoldered these two big fellas. They're just um, yeah, the, the feet that hold the weight, I think. I don't think there's any actual electrical connection. I'm going to try and use this desoldering pump. Just about. Old one's out. Just uh, give it a bit more of a clean up with the desoldering wick before I solder a new one in. And now I just need to put the new rotary encoder back where the old one was, solder that in. Check if that new rotary encoder is working. Can you zoom in on the screen, can you see that? Happy days, look at that. Uh, whatever happens, at least now this NPC is usable. Buzzing. Now, the last job before I call it a night is just get this fader in. Let me see. The new fader's got them two prongs at this end, it's got four prongs at the far end. See on the side, see where there's the two contacts soldered on there, and there's a far up there, it's pretty self explanatory. Let's just do this one more time. It's the same again, it's just soldering in those two contacts, those four contacts, and these feet are just supports. 